let's talk to uh, Fat Bottom Girl. Whoops. Oops. Whoopsie doodle. Hello. Uh, hello. Hi. Sorry. Hold on. I was distracted. Why? Um. Okay. So. Wait up. Let me fix my volume. Sorry. No worries. We're here. Okay. Sorry. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm good. Um. So I've been playing Silent Hill lately, and like that game just gives me the heebie-jeebies. And I was wondering, um. What do you guys look for in horror games, and like, what's your favorite horror game? Uh, I actually don't like horror games. I love me horror. neither. Yeah, I'm not really. At all. Every now and then, there's one that'll get me, but that's not often. Love horror games. I want suspense. I want to not be able to see what's coming after me. I want to that. Just left... it just stresses me out. I, yes. I want it. I want it left up to my imagination. Yes. I want to be. Should I pause this and go cool off for a second? I do not. I want to physically mm -hmm. feel like I am hurting my body mm -hmm. because I'm stressed out so much. I want that so bad in a game. That cool. <laughs> have my life. I <laughs> just borrow my life for a day. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, I, I, I don't even have to add to that. Yeah. Kevin, exactly, it's exactly, what, I'm exactly like. what I'm looking for. I want to not know what the fuck is happening. That's why <laughs> Silent Hill is the best I horror game. But, but let me just say, in regards to... I, I, I've had actually played through a Silent Hill game, but I've watched yeah. them plenty. Mm -hmm. That is a little different than I think what I'm picturing when you're saying all that stuff. What I don't like, to be honest, is like that Outlast game that came out. I don't like just... Meh! Okay, go in here. Meh! Now what's in here? Meh! Yeah. But yeah. Silent Hill just creates a place. Yeah, yeah. I don't even like that. Uh, it's a little more than I prefer. I agree. But at least with those games, they earned their they earned their moments. Yeah. yeah. You know, and yeah. I even feel like even like some of the Resident Evils, they're scary, mm -hmm. but they earn their moments. It's not meh, meh, meh. It's yeah. it's you know I've been here in a while and it's starting to build. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm okay. By the time it happens, it's. I don't know. I just feel like you. Okay, you got me. You earned it. Yeah. I, I don't. I just don't like over the top. Like I'm gonna fucking scare you constantly. No. I'm worried about Alien Isolation. I played it at E3, and the demo was very like I don't. I can't relax during this. But they have to condense a game into a minute. That, you know. So it's like I don't know. Um, the atmosphere was cool. It, I just felt like I was constantly in danger and not really able to enjoy it. And did you ever play so, Fatal Frame? I oh. bought them on play. I, I have them on PlayStation Three. Yeah, I haven't played long them yet, time but ago. I want to I've so heard bad. whenever people talk about horror games, that's the series that yeah. always marries to the top of the list. I, yeah. That's a game that I never got to check out, but I always wanted to see. Dead Space One earned its moments. Mm -hmm. I want to play that oh, so bad. Man. Sure, that I love Dead Space One because it was Event Horizon. Yeah. It and, was Event Horizon. And yeah. Event Horizon is exactly what I want out of any horror genre. What 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 happened here? Inexplicable. What is going on? Why is this going on? Mm. What the fuck is that? And then like <laughs> that's where I'm so scared I don't want to walk around the corner and I walk around the corner and nothing's there. Yeah. That is what I want out of a horror. I want to hear noises and they don't explain what they are. I want to hear that stuff. And that's why Silent Hill always did it good because of the like they had the fog so even when you knew everything was okay you knew that it yeah. could go wrong <laughs> you heard the enemies before you saw them and they even implemented the radio, the radio. static that when you're near uh -huh. an enemy it starts to crackle and like have weird like the and just so you go in a room and you just hear this and you're like oh the fuck this fuck. shit <laughs> There's something in here, and I don't know where it is. It's completely dark in here. What do I do? And then you walk into a room, and there's, like, a flayed dog and a human all on a chain-link fence. Like, what yeah. the fuck happened here? There, there's, like, parts where you'll walk into a room, and it'll all be normal, and you'll walk out, and you'll hear something, right? Like, you'll hear something happen in the room. You're like, I just was fucking it. What the? And you go in, and it'll, yeah. Yeah, I love the Silent Hill games. Yeah. Love them. I've been playing a lot of Sly have... Cooper. <laughs> Not as scary as Silent Hill. <laughs> <laughs> like, I have, like, this dumb fear of, like, fog. Like, it gets so bad sometimes. Or, like, if it's really bad around my house, I won't drive for that day. Like, I'll just stay at home. So, Silent Hill is, like, all fog. And I'm like, 
I hey, hate driving a fucking Atomic car. Punk in the chat said something I forgot about. The Dianoga in Shadows of the Empire is terrifying. Yeah, it was. Do you remember that? Did there you play was, that? Yeah. On 64? Dianoga? You'd go into the trash area. It was... Um, oh, I do remember uh -huh. that. Yeah, it was the tentacled thing beneath yeah. the water uh -huh. in the trash yeah. area. Uh -huh. yeah. That sucked. Uh, my thing in games, if it's bugs... Or if it's water, yeah. I'm out. Yeah, water. Hey, <laughs> fuck Resident, water. Resident Evil 4 had like invisible bugs in water. Yep. I'm out. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. Eric, Eric went, I don't want to play this I game. Don't, right. hey, 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 I don't want to play that. That so, is everything I hate. So in case you never saw it all or you never, I don't, I don't remember your status with this game, Eric. Uh -huh. But Resident Evil uh, Revelations, the one on the boat. Revelations. Right? Yeah, Revelations. Revelations. Came out on 3DS, then later whatever systems. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, had the last act of that most of that game I kept it together yeah. and then the last act of that game had me by the fucking ball it was like I want to beat this game so bad I have to submerge all the way down to the bottom of this thing uh -huh. fuck and you go down there and it's silent and Eric my my fear when it, my biggest fear uh -huh. in fucking Mario 64 I couldn't do the fucking eel under the water <laughs> that was scary to me really in this game, you go into the water and sound stops when you go there, and there are mutated, warped whales just... Yeah. <laughs> no sound coming awesome. out of holes at you. And I was... I mean, I was with my... I played it first on 3DS. Fuck, fuck, fuck! <laughs> like, it, I, I couldn't deal with that. You know... Uh, but kudos to them that I, on a handheld, yeah. I was getting scared like yeah. that. that another, cool. another game that just popped into my head that did a really good job obviously because it was written by uh, Clive Barker. Is Clive Barker's I'm Dead. Um, that yeah. is, uh, it, it's actually called, uh, I think, Undying or something yeah. like yeah. that. But One of his two games. Uh, one of his two games. <laughs> <laughs> but that game did a really good job because it was written by a horror author yeah. mm -hmm. of making that, like, they earned their scares. It was like, You'd walk into a room, you'd just hear these crackles and yeah. chains, yeah. and you were there to investigate a mystery of like what happened to this family yeah. of the friend that you ha like had during World War One. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it was really cool. It played a lot with paranormal stuff, and uh, now if I went back to it, I'm sure it's hokey as shit. Yeah, <laughs> but um, Good for its time. I remember at the time it was like uh, made me nervous to walk into rooms. I think we were the only people who ever played that game. Oh, game? Yeah, yeah. That game did not sell well. Was it, un was it Undying? Yeah, yeah, I think so. And uh, they were working on a PS2 port, and I was like, oh yeah, and they canceled it because it didn't sell well. Yeah, uh, so it's like they were also working on a Dreamcast port, or they released one. <laughs> Maybe it'll yeah. still come out. Hopefully, I still got my Dreamcast. Yeah, got it with that. Game. King of Fighters '98 represent. Fuck yeah. Well, there you have it. There you go. All right, thanks guys. I'll see Thank you later. You. Thank you. Hey Brian, who made Dracula 2000?